Hello, hello, and this is the, another edition of the Battlefield Strongest Man. And uh, the athlete on the stage is Beacon, fourth strongest man in Kenya as of 2023. So the event here is called the Axel Press. Currently, the world record of the Axel Press is 217 kgs by Iron BB that was broken in 2021. Previously, it was being held by Eddie Hall. But right now, the current record is 216. In Kenya yet, so far, we don't have a record that has been established yet. Uh, but I've seen people like Wamalwa lifting over 160 kgs. That's a good lift for 90 kgs. Remember, each athlete is going to do the 90 kgs, which is actually the first lift. It's a compulsory lift. But in other competitions, you don't have to do the lift. Ken Mwangi making his second appearance. The first appearance that he made was in last year. 2023 when he qualified for the Kenya Strongest Man and he became number eight. So Ken Mwangi trains in Juja. And Juja is one player that produces one uh, produces the strongest people in Kenya. I think most strength athletes come from Juja. The same way you can say like Juja and then there's also Rongai. So basically using a mixed grip on the bar, take the bar off the ground on the belly then you execute a clean. After the clean, you do a press. A very successful lift. Though I felt I was having some struggles. Senna Guinness. Senna Guinness is one of the most experienced athletes on the ground and he comes from Rongai. So you'll notice that this event mostly favors big guys. The guys with a big belly. So even if you train and you have a big belly, it's an advantage to some of the lifts, such as the axle press and the log press. Caleb Duarte is the youngest athlete on the stage. He also made another appearance last year when he became number 11 in the Kenya Strongest Man competition. At 20 years of age, he is a student at Kenyatta University. He also sells cars, so he's a business person. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the axle press. Uh, basically, the axle bar is a bit thicker than the other bars. Joshua Muna, the guy from Zimmerman, also known as the Kenyan Bison, and one of the best squatters in Kenya. The guy can, over, can squat over 350 kgs. They're not officially recorded. Dennis Mbugwa, he made his first appearance in 2021, disappeared because of some injuries, but it's, we are glad he's back. So basically all of them are doing a 90 kg lift. Then uh, each athlete is going to call a subsequent lift that they prefer. So this is a game of points. Kevin Odina, also known as the Bull Beast, usually acts as a power lifting and strongman judge, but this time around he's made a comeback. Remember he's one of the pioneers of strongman way back in 2020, 2019 after qualifying and becoming number three in the Kisumu Strongest Man competition. The next big man on stage is Steve Wamalwa, Kenya Strongest Man, three times Kenya Strongest Man, 2015, 2016, and 2023. So this is the most experienced athlete in Kenya, having done, having won a number of competitions. I think, um, I haven't counted the competition, but I think he's done more than 30 competitions so far. So basically, log press, and he has got the most perfect technique. Log press and axle press, which are overhead presses, are his favorite lifts. Paul Tezila, also an entrepreneur, owning one of the best adventures company known as Tezila Adventures, is taking the lift 90 kgs, good clean, and finally a press. So basically, the judges are looking at the lockout. You have to lock out your arms and your knees. So after that, you earn a point. And just in there behind the athlete is DJ Sadiq, and everyone I think knows DJ Sadiq. This is Jarvis Michotti. Jarvis was also away due to an injury. We were on a two to three year break, but we're glad that he's back. So basically moved the first call of each athlete. The first athlete here is Senna Gina, taking 110 kgs. And as I told you, this is a game of points, meaning if you 
do a lift above all other lifts, you become the highest in ranking. So assuming right now Agina does the 110, na kwa the game ends, eh, he automatically becomes number one. So that's an assumption. So you'll notice what the athletes are doing, they're taking the weight off the ground, putting it on the belly, then executing a clean. That is the standard technique of doing an axle press. This is not a clean and jack. This is an axle press. So I saw some people saying somewhere, these people are doing a wrong technique. Somebody was commenting on my video and then I told them, no, people should learn different events. There's an axle press, there's a barbell press, there's a clean and jack. So basically you have to subscribe to learn these techniques. I'm also going to teach you another lift over there. Yeah, I remember Ken struggled uh, doing the 90 kgs. And it appears that he has an injury on one, either the abductors or the growing, but most probably it's an, at the abductors. It's basically a tear, but we hope he's going to be, so, to be back soon. These are normal things in strongman. People push their bodies beyond the limits, so at times injuries are part of the game. So, and uh, one thing you learn about this sport is usually brotherhood. When somebody gets an injury, remember the athletes come to support physically, emotionally. This is the beauty of strongman. And uh, I think this is one beauty that you might not find in any sport easily. Maybe CrossFit. Yeah, CrossFit has also ha has got some good brotherhood and sisterhood. But there are sports whereby Mutwa Kiumia, you just uh, go by yourself and uh, maybe... But basically, we go to the next person. So basically, Ken has failed the 110 kgs. And here is Caleb Dwati. So these lifts are being done on a command, the, on the judge's command. So once you get the command on the belly, you see, there's, other, there's another technique whereby, but though in some strongman uh, events, uh, it's not usually accepted. The issue of taking the weight, the bar and placing it on the belt the way Caleb has done. In some events, the judges usually refuse. You're supposed to take the bar, place it on the belly, then execute the clean and finally the press. But uh, times you can use the belt if you don't have a big belly like the big boys. Though Caleb is a big boy, the Kenyan bison. The guy with big calves, the guy from Zimmerman. We saw recently there was some fracas in Zimmerman and he, he was one of the persons that I had to check on and see if he's doing okay. Dennis Mbugwa. Head trainer, rock gym in Rongai, one of the best gyms. Actually, the best gym in Rongai, in my opinion. So, if you are a trainer and you're looking for a job, Dennis Mugu is my friend. Subscribe to my channel. Contact me. Kevin Odina, aka the Bull Beast. Akimu Muku. So, Odina has, is an experienced athlete the most experienced person in terms of judging. And I think he's going to be also experienced in terms of coming up with the new styles of dyeing the hair. Reminds me of the, that bottle of Guinness. <laughs> You're black and then your hair is dyed brown. <laughs> in a car, you a Guinness. One of the best athletes and judges in the country. That's a good lift of 110 kgs. So far, everybody's doing 110 kgs just to secure points. So you have to secure points, first of all. But until you feel you're strong enough, you can just call for a higher number. So meaning if you call 115 kgs here, you be automatically become above the other athletes as at this point. Behind Jap is uh, Chris, Chris Mwenda. One of the best powerlifters though right now is battling with an injury. He also acts as a judge. 
for powerlifting specifically Zani and different strongman athletes Kamkunji and is a former rugby player played for the Stratmon Leas played for the Mean Machine the big black boy big Ken the guy from Limuru so Limuru has got one uh, characteristics it has got two guys who bench the most in the country there's a guy called Polycap and there's Big Ken Big Ken can bench press over 220 kgs Polycap can bench press over 230 kgs that's a bench press 230 kgs Steven Wamalu strongest man in Kenya body weight is 136 kgs body weight he holds the squat record for Kenya which lies at 350 kgs and the guy trains at Alpha Fit Gym along Gong Road also the most experienced athlete and he's won very many titles I think uh, he also won a two pieces of land way back when Kenya Strongest Man was offering was giving a piece of land to the winner to the winners in I think it was in 2015 and 2016 yes Paul Te holds so Tezile is a, is a fitness coach besides being an entrepreneur and he coaches the strongest woman in Kenya as a 2023 called Jen Ann Hatich so Tezile is one of the best deadlifters and in 2023 at one point he was holding the national record in deadlifts currently the national record stands at 370 kgs by chris okech kevin odina aka the bull beast mr guinness so he's using the technique whereby he's placing the bar on the belt then doing the clean very good clean then executing the lift and basically you'll notice well when the lift is getting heavier all that leads are using a leg drive like you, somebody takes the weight sinks the weight a bit and then presses it's called leg drive it gives you the power to, to execute the push upwards subscribe subscribe guys i'm going to teach you this event strongman I'll teach you crossfit i'm also learning bodybuilding uh, physique Again, I was trying to dance as on to the weight. Uh, you'll notice that once you are clean is not efficient, you're going to have a problem with the press. Like the basic technique of doing a good axle press, you have to have an efficient lift. So you have to be very efficient in your technique. I think it's going to reduce the weight. So we have had some struggles over there and it's because of the technique. Technique, at times lack of composure by the athlete. So you have to be composed, take time. And at times it could be due to an injury. Uh, maybe there's no, what is it called? The muscle mind connection. You see, when there's no muscle mind connection, at times an athlete can fail to do a lift, even a very simple lift. Because well, I'm expecting somebody like Agina to do an efficient lift of 130 kgs. Caleb Duati. 120 kgs 20 years of age he sells cars so if you want to buy a mercedes benz or a probox or a vitz this is the guy if you don't have fuel it's going to lift and then lift the car to your place very good clean and basically that is going to be an easy lift Uh, the only thing I'm noticing over here is that his feet is a bit wide. You know, at times when you place your feet so wide, and that is a mistake that I've identified, you're going to have a problem while using your leg drive. For proper executing of the leg drive, you don't have to place your feet so wide. Unless you're very big, like Big Show. Big and you have big abductors. Uh, what are they called? Ab abductors. But placing your feet at an average angle, maybe shoulder width, gives you a good stance to do a very good lift. Joshua Muna, aka the Kenyan Bison, 
trains the gym partner for Joshua Munez Tezila at Extreme Gym in Zimmerman. So Joshua Munez in 2021, he won the Kamkunji Novice category, but he has done more than 13 strongman events so far. And he has appeared on the podium four times. Actually appeared in the podium last year, 2023 in December, during the battlefield powerlifting, where he was number three. Number one was uh, Alvin Lee. Number two was Paul Tay. Number three, Joshua Muna. And finally, number four, Juha Maloba. Yani Mimi. So Dennis Mbugwe is doing, he has done a good clean, and finally that is going to be a good press. Remember he was to represent Kenya, but he didn't make it due to some financial issues, but he's one of the best lifters in the country. He was to present to represent Kenya during the under 23 strongman, uh, it was in, what was it called? I don't remember the place, but he was, the main issue why he didn't go was because of finances. So Javier Lichotti has already done his lift and we moved to the next person who is Biken who is doing 125 kg. So you notice the numbers are going up. So you, the higher you call the number, the higher you get more points on each particular lift. So as you'll notice over here, Biken is doing 125 kgs. All the other people who have done 120 kgs, if he does 125 kgs, automatically takes the points and becomes above them. That's a lift from the black man who was vying for the MCA seat in 20, 2021. Huh? But he was uh, a Lihanguka kwa nominations. He was vying the MCA seat at a place called Isoka East. But we wish him the best in 2027. Steven Wamalwa, aka M Toto Chief, strongest man in Kenya. Recently, he was in Russia, where he also appeared on the podium. Doing 130 kgs, and that simply means he's going to be above the rest. So, fine points, Wamalwa is above. So, technically, you will see if you want to surpass that lift, like you see, Tezil has called for 135 kgs so that he can get more points above Wamalwa. And I think Wamalwa, for the subsequent lift, is going to call something like 140 or 145. It's just a, a game of minds, a game of points, and maximizing on your strengths. So, strongman is a game for the strong people. And these are the strongest men in Kenya. This, if you want, subscribe and you'll see all the strongest men in Kenya, all the fastest men in Kenya. I'll bring you the profile one on one. I've done an interview with Tezila. If you check on my first interview on my Instagram page about the personal life of Tezila, he was the first person I interviewed. So you're going to learn more about the entrepreneur. Please follow Tezila Adventures for more fun. And if you want to be watching these games live, right now the people haven't arrived. Maybe it's already at 8 a.m. So we go to the third call and Kevin Odina wants to do the 120 kg lift. <laughs> Kevin Odina was number nine last year, 2023, during the Kenya Strongest Month. So he also comes from Rongai. So he's picking the bar using a mixed grip, to the belly, uh, taking some rest, composting himself, then I clean. That's a very good clean. So basically, I'm expecting the lift to be a bit easy. Uh -huh. Good lift. And the full lockout has been achieved. So basically, it's secured some good points over there. Considering that people have done on 10 kg, the somebody did on 15 kg. So if I can guess the results, over here. See you next time. Bye.